the digestive system. The digestive system is the system of organs responsible for the digestion of food in the body. Digestion is a process of breaking down the food we eat into nutritional substances that our body can use. Through digestion, the body gets the nutrients from the food we eat which the body uses for energy, growth, and cell repair needed to survive. The digestive system is made up of parts or organs that work together in the digestion process. These are the mouth, esophagus or gullet, the stomach, the small intestine, the large intestine or colon, and anus. How does each organ function in the digestion process? Let's begin with the mouth. The digestion begins in the mouth. Physical digestion is happening in the mouth because the teeth cut the food into pieces, while the chemical digestion is being done by the saliva. The saliva contains special enzymes that moisten the food which help to digest the carbohydrates in the food. Saliva also makes the food soft and mushy to make it easier to swallow. From the mouth, the next organ to work is the esophagus or gullet. Digestion is not happening here because the esophagus is a muscular tube that only serves as the passageway. And in an involuntary wave-like movement of its muscles, it pushes down the food from the mouth to the stomach. The involuntary wave-like movement to push the food down in the stomach is called peristalsis. From the esophagus, the mushy pieces of food is passed through the stomach. The stomach is a hollow organ or container that holds food and breaks it down into usable liquid mixture by the stomach enzymes. Chemical digestion is happening in the stomach. The cells in the lining of the stomach secrete a strong acid and powerful enzymes to continue the process of breaking down food into a usable form. From the stomach, the digested food is passed through the small intestine. Small intestine carries out most of the digestive process. Chemical digestion happens in the small intestine. The walls of the small intestine make digestive juices or enzymes that work together with enzymes from the liver and pancreas. Absorption also happens in the small intestine. The lining of the small intestine absorbs all of the nutrients from the digested food into our bloodstream. It is the blood that will transport the absorbed nutrients to the different parts of the body. From the small intestine, the undigested food is passed through the large intestine. The large intestine reabsorbs the water and mineral that is not digested as food. The undigested food is also removed by the large intestine because they considered waste. This waste becomes more and more solid as it passes through the large intestine because the water is continuously being reabsorbed. Then the collected waste is stored in the rectum which is the end part of the large intestine. When the brain signals, the waste will expel from the body through the anus. 
how to recall the waste collected by the large intestine and expelled or passed out through the anus? We call the waste as feces or stool. And now let us summarize how does the digestive system work? The mouth, the esophagus, the stomach, the small intestine, and the large intestine.